Mario, my name is Price. I'm coming at you with some Reus. Now, this is a game that I have not played on this channel before. Uh, this is, it's an older game, uh, and it's something that part of the reason I'm playing it is because A, I really, really love this game. B, whenever it goes, uh, whenever there are big Steam sales, it goes on sale for like three bucks, four bucks, five bucks. So it's something that some of y'all out there, if you see it, you like it, you can pick it up for super cheap, and I think you'll have as much fun with it as I have. Let's go ahead and start a game, and I'll talk about the game while we're in it. So right now, I've reset all of my progress. I used to have a whole bunch of stuff unlocked, but I have reset my progress. So we can only play a 30 minute game for now. And that's fine by me. We could start. What are the advanced options that you can do? Oh, you can mess with all kinds of stuff. My goodness. Um, so let's go ahead and let's start the match. And what you're going to see right off the bat is uh, when we jump in, it's going to show us all of these different potential achievements that we can aim for. These are just the kind of basic goals. And the game is very free form in how you play. And it's a sort of God sim meets nature sim meets colony sim. Um, and so right here, these are the, the starter goals for us, which is just to finish an era. And an era is basically just a game with each of these types of village with 100 prosperity. And prosperity, we'll talk about that when we get into the game. There's a couple more um, complex uh, goals to aim for, and we could try and aim for as many of these as we want to in a single game. Obviously, um, it's going to be difficult to do a whole lot of these. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in, and we're just going to aim for those starter ones, the forest village, the desert village, and the uh, swamp village, uh, all at 100 prosperity. If we get one of those, great. If we get more than one of those, even better. So, first things first, I'm going to hit spacebar to pause. You can pause the game, and because time is a factor in this game, uh, it's definitely something that you're going to want to worry about. So, upper, upper left corner, we've got our time. Uh, down here, we have the prosperity meter. Right now, prosperity is zero, and uh, you'll see that that meter is full. So, every time this meter fills up, you get a nomad, and a nomad... It's just a wandering person who's looking for a place to live, and they will set up a city once it meets um, some certain requirements. Basically, once it's got either food, money, or technology that they can access. Uh, and that comes from the environment. And we control these four gods. We have a, an ocean god, a forest god, a rock god, and a swamp god. So let's go ahead and we're going to click the forest god as quickly, or not the forest god, the ocean god as quickly as possible. And we're going to have that ocean god create an ocean. So I hit Q to create an ocean, and we're going to have him do that as soon as possible. We're going to move this forest god over this way, and uh, what you'll see is as soon as we do that, you can zoom in and out and everything like that, you'll see all of a sudden we've got these little nice patches of uh, watered earth, right? But this is barren, rocky ground. It's useless to us right now. I'm going to keep the rock guy over here for a little while, and we're going to focus on one or two villages to start with. So what I'm going to do is now that we have this watered ground, uh, we are going to create forest land on this side, and we are going to create swamp land. If I can uh, rotate, uh, we're going to create swamp land on this side, okay? And we're going to try and build villages around those concepts. So let's unpause. Let's let them do their things. So it's best to use your ability to pause and unpause uh, frequently. Uh, it's very useful. Ooh, and you know what I just noticed? We have a couple. We got lucky here. We have a couple of boosted tiles. So these tiles are going to actually give us greater yields from whatever we place on them. So we're going to focus on the swamp uh, to begin with, I think, because it'll be the easiest to get the most prosperity from. So let's move forest guy over here. Let's get Swamp Guy going. Okay. And we got these boosted tiles. So let's add... I'm going to go for a fruit right here. So uh, I know I'm going really fast. Uh, so let me just stop for a second. You'll notice that each of our gods have different abilities. Okay. Uh, now, the different abilities correspond to what those gods are, but they don't necessarily mean that they can only do one thing. So the Swamp God, for example, can create herbs and exotic animals. The Rock God can create precious minerals and advanced minerals, all right? And these are both going to be useful when we're trying to get some higher level stuff. Um, the uh, Ocean God can create domestic animals, okay? And depending on the biome in which you use these abilities, you get different things. Finally, the Forest God can use uh, plants, uh, can create fruit plants. Um, and so fruit plants, usually a really good source of food. So like I said, we're going to come over here and we're going to make this uh, fruit plant over here. And so you can do all kinds of this stuff all over the place. But one of the things that we're going to notice here in a second is that there are um, useful scenarios in which to combine things together. And while we're doing all this stuff... Woo! 
Just sneezed a little bit. Okay, um, while we're doing this, uh, I am going to send this rock god uh, over kind of in this direction, and we're going to build a mountain just to get it started. I do think it would be useful for us to go ahead and get it going there. So we're going to put a mountain, yeah, we're right about there. That should give us a nice big desert. Uh, all right, so let's get this going. And you're going to see our fruit plant is going to finally get planted. Okay. Now, before I even move any further, all right, I've got this fruit plant, and the nomad is definitely going to come over here and try and find this place first. But I want to click on this and learn some things about it. First things first, you can see it's got this little five under it, right? And it's got a little kind of apple symbol right there. So this is producing five food, all right? So there are the three resources that I talked about. There is food, there is uh, gold, and there's technology. Now, if you hit control, it'll scroll through a couple of other things. This is natura. Natura is necessary for a couple of things. It basically just means how much life is there on these tiles in general um, and so this plant is now spreading natura across all of these and i think if you look at this yeah it'll say um plus your natura if next to an animal nest plus seven food aha okay so this is our symbiosis um and now the symbiosis is basically saying if you build things next to one another or in some capacity with one another they will get a boost from it so for this one we can see that if this is next to an animal nest we're going to get some bonus food so maybe next to these elderberries we should build some animals and i actually think what i want to do is i want to use this um swamp god and we're going to put some exotic animals next to this patch of elderberries so let's go ahead and do that let's see what we get out of there So what do we get here? We got poison dart frogs, um, antitoxin plus two health and plus one uh, animal range if next to an elderberry, which it is because we have this elderberry here. So let's go back to our this meter. So now we can see we have plus three wealth across all of these tiles and uh, 12 food from this elderberry. They're boosting each other in a really good way. So that's pretty nice for us, isn't it? Now let's uh, give this a second. All right, a swamp village has settled. Swamp villages often start projects that require technology. Try using advanced minerals and herb plants within the village borders. So we're definitely gonna want some tech. Now, uh, if we click here on this village, we're gonna see some things, okay? Uh, we're gonna see their greed level, which we wanna keep low, which basically means don't let them be starving for resources, but also don't let them be gaining resources too quickly, all right? If you increase the greed too much, they're going to start to get angry. They might start going to war with people. They might start causing some problems. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build some of these advanced minerals. And we're going to see what the advanced minerals need. The other thing to notice is we've got these border lines right here, okay? See where like little watchtowers are? Anything within those borders this town is going to be able to access anything on this tile or beyond it's not going to be able to access so you just need to re remember that you want to build within these borders if you're going to want to accomplish stuff and actually i'm going to take this opportunity i'm going to build the advanced minerals on this tile instead there's a chance they're going to start what's called a project and i would rather the project be closer to the town than farther away from the town so let's go ahead and do this and let's see what these advanced minerals need All right, so these are going to give us 10 technology, which we know that these uh, towns like. They like technology and wealth, right? That's what it told us. We can also look at a couple of other things. Royal stone, plus six tech and six wealth if next to a mineral. So we could put another mineral next to this, and that's going to boost it as well. Um, and we could transmute it with a lesser crystal aspect or a lesser reaction aspect. Let's see, do we have any aspects? The only aspects that we have... Okay, so I'm going to tell you about aspects real quick. Aspects are like little boosts, okay? The only aspects that we currently have are the leaf aspect and the growth aspect from the ocean giant. Now, if we look at the elderberries, okay, we'll see that if we give it a leaf aspect, we could actually transmute it into some tomatoes. And that's going to give us food and tech. And since we know that these people like tech, we might want to switch over to some tomatoes there, but we are going to lose the synergy with these frogs. So we have to think about those types of um, effects when we make these choices. So, but let's go ahead and let's give it a shot so I can show you guys what it's like. So we want to do a leaf aspect. Let's grab you. Let's grab a leaf aspect. And here's the other thing. Even if you didn't want to do a transmutation, um, just by adding an aspect, you're going to boost um, the abilities of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use the aspect and we're going to see what happens there. Okay. So you'll see it already gained plus four technology. So I could leave this here and it's going to be fine. 
okay? Uh, and it will just be producing four extra technology, but I want to turn it into the tomato. So we're going to make the tomato, and we're going to see what the tomato needs in order to gain any boosts. While we're doing that, I'm also going to use this guy to build a regular precious mineral over here, because that is going to boost this guy as well. All right, so we got the tomatoes. Now, what does the tomato say? Healthy 0.5 tech for each food on this patch. Okay, so that, it doesn't really gain anything useful from um, anything around it right now, but it's getting a ton of tech. Let's see what happens if I switch out these frogs now, since they're not being that useful anymore. Let's switch them out for domestic animals and see if that has a boost. Ah, a new nomad is roaming the planet, looking for a place to settle. Make a nice place for it to settle with some natural resources. So now, if we want to, let's go ahead and let's grab Mr. Forest Giant. Let's bring him over here and let's try setting up some fruit and other things here. Um, now, the other thing is if I'm not careful... Aha, you see they did build the project here. Um... Does this still have my mind? I think it took over my mind. Yeah, uh, which is fine. So uh, now we have two things. We're juggling a lot here, and this is how this kind of works, right? Uh, you're going to be juggling a lot. So let's move this forest giant over here so I can start planting some food there. But then let's also pay attention to what's going on over here. So this project, uh, it has a time limit. So I need to complete the goals for this project within 10 minutes. How are we doing on our overall time? We've only used like two minutes, that's great. I'll stop pausing so much once we get a little bit further in. Um, I, right now, I mostly wanted to teach you guys how to play it if you don't know how to do it. So, uh, what does it need? It needs 15 technology and 15 food. We have the capacity for that, um, but we just need to gain it within 10 minutes. Uh, I guess I should explain that part of this as well. So, the way that this works, is um, you have these maximum limits here. The uh, village will slowly build up to that amount of stuff. However, as you approach the maximum, the rate at which you gain things slows down. So if this is 3 over 18, I'm going to be gaining a lot of food up until maybe like 10 or 12, and then it's going to really slow down. Okay. If this were three over, say, a hundred, I would be gaining food at a lightning pace until maybe like 80 or 90 over 100. So you want to make sure to um, increase this upper limit if you're really trying to catch these time limits. So we want a little bit more food, a little bit more tech, uh, and we should be good to go here. Overall, I think this town's going to be pretty well suited on its own. Let's see what happens when we add these domestic animals. What are these? Okay, insect eater, plus two food and plus one animal range if next to an elderberry. Aha, if I added another elderberry, that would benefit this. Uh, and does this guy get any kind of symbiosis? Not really, it's just by having extra food um, on this patch. What can I transmute you into? Nothing at the moment. Um, I kind of want to add an elderberry to boost that production there. So I'm going to actually, before my forest giant heads over to do stuff over in this other place, we're going to take that last opportunity to build a, an elderberry there. And then let's get the rest of our giants moving in this direction uh, so that we can start working on this town. Okay. Now, you'll see I put down that elderberry, right? And suddenly, these guys are gaining more food, right? They had one. Now they're gaining uh, up to three. Okay. Pretty nice. But overall, I think it might make the most sense for us to just add more food within the borders here in a second. But, um, you know, we're just going to stick with it for now. I like having a variety. Let's get everybody over here and let's start building up this area so we can have a second town. Um, the other thing to pay attention to, this is our overall prosperity. Right now, this just represents the prosperity, really, of that one swamp village. Uh, let's grab these guys. Now, you can also put stuff in the water. So if we wanted to have, like, a fishing town, I could put some fish in the water here. Um, and that would also give us... Um, uh, access for the, the tiles here. And so maybe we'll try that kind of thing here in a little bit. Um, let's grab you. Okay. So you can add exotic animals. Let's go ahead and add some exotics here. And we'll see what those exotics are. All right. These are stoats. Plus two wealth if there is a mineral within range. So let's add some minerals. We're using just the regular precious minerals. We'll see what those are all about. Forest villages settled. Forest villages often start projects that require food. Uh, try using fruit plants and domestic animals within village borders. Um, so obviously, we didn't make the best decisions here with what we added. Um, this would probably be a better collection for maybe the desert, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, uh, their borders are all the way at the edge here, which is great because I'm going to go add a fruit aspect or a, a fruit plant right onto this boosted tile, and that's going to help us out quite a bit. And let's add some domesticated animals here. What does this mineral need? 
Activate Symbiothus with 10 wealth in use. Okay. Oh, because it's not within borders. What does this little animal do now? These chickens. Free range, plus three food if a blueberry is within range. Aha, so these are blueberries, plus 10 food if next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. The granary challenge has started. Aha, what do they want? Um, they want food in use 30. So I need just food, food, food. So I think what I'm going to do then is we're going to switch out all of these guys. And you can always replace stuff if you need to. Um, so what I'm going to do, we are going to turn this one into a strawberry. Okay. And I would like to also send what I'm going to do with my um, ocean giant. We're actually going to head all the way out here. We're going to make a new ocean so I can extend the forest tiles a little bit more. Let's make an ocean right about here. Uh, and rock giant, we're not going to need you for a while. So I would like to go ahead and build that mountain on the other side of this place. All right. How are we doing on time? 27 of 34. Oh, I should explain what the whole time limit is about these eras and things. Uh, the storyline is that these gods awaken from their slumber for a small amount of time to help people reestablish their um, place on the land, uh, and then they go back to sleep. So uh, when this time limit goes up, all of our gods are going to start to go back to sleep. Um, now, let's go check this other town. How are y'all doing? 14 to 27. All right, so this project's going to be done soon. Okay, and then that's going to give us a nice boost. So once it's done, we'll get plus 10 food and plus 5 tech for each plant within the borders. Stacks up to three times. We have one within the borders. Uh, frogs. That's about it. So I'm going to want to do a little bit more plants within that place once that thing's done. Okay. A swamp ambassador has appeared. He can upgrade the following abilities. Okay, so this is um, what we've gained basically from... Um, this is uh, from finishing that project. So whenever you finish a project, not only do you get the boost from it, but you also get the uh, ambassadors. I think I'm going to want to use probably the um, forest, or not the forest, the ocean giant, in order to get the herd aspect. Uh, so this thing should be able to transmute. Yep, let's do that. And, okay, in a second, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build another food thing here. Let's send the swamp giant back over. He can make plants at least. Uh, and let's go ahead and do this. So now that we have these strawberries plus we have the blueberries, now we're going to get a nice big chunk of food here. So once this ocean is done, and it is, let's send you all the way back over to here. It's going to take some time to get over there. And that's a big part of what happens here is like once you start to spread out, you really do have the whole issue of uh, you got to move them around within the time. All right. What just happened? What just beeped? The other thing to, to look at is if you click on the individual towns, you'll see the individual prosperity. So this one has a prosperity of 20. Uh, and then this one over here has a prosperity of 43. And remember, we want 100 prosperity from each of these. So we do really need to focus on that if that's our goal. Okay, let's let them kind of play out a little bit. You, sir, while we're waiting, how about you come over here and do a little bit of that action? And you, before you go and grab the thing, I'm going to ask you to... Uh, where did those chickens go? Didn't we have chickens somewhere? I know I want the chickens. We're going to put the chickens here. We're going to see how this works out. We're going to get rid of these stoats. Um, I think they benefit from having the berries and things. Um, do, do, do. All right, so you're going to build that up. You're going to do that. And let's go check on the rock guy. Yeah, see, he's building a mountain over here, which has created a nice desert. Send him in this direction, and then we'll also send you in this direction. Okay, so what do these chickens do? Plus three food if a blueberry is within animal range. So if I can get a blueberry over here, which we know we can totally do, then that's going to give us bonus food from that chicken uh, across all these tiles. So that's also going to give us, I think, bonuses to here. Bonuses to here and here. So, you know, it's not a bad thing to have. Yeah, look at that. And then the other thing is to always remember, I can always add extra aspects to things. So, like, this guy only has the... Ooh, it has a potent leaf aspect. That's nice. And so I can add another aspect to here. Um, the leaf one's good, and then the growth one is also good. And I don't have to transmute it. I can just leave it, and we'll keep that for the bonus that it gets. Now, Ocean Giant, you're coming all the way over here. Let's do it because this is going to give us a new aspect that I'm really looking forward to being able to use. Grab it. So that unlocked this herd aspect. And now you'll also see, if we look on top of our ocean giant, this little forest ambassador chilling with it. Um, and let us grab the herd aspect, because I think that'll give us something new here. Uh, otters gives food and gives more if they are close to plants. So how about 
we use this herd aspect on these froggles and maybe see if we can't get some better use out of some otters. And the forest ambassador has appeared. So we can get a fruit aspect for the forest giant, the crystal aspect from the ocean giant, the exotic aspect from the rock giant, or the reaction aspect from the swamp giant. Ooh, I think I want to get the fruit aspect for now. Because then we can get some really nice high level fruits going on. So let's just go forest for forest right now. All right, fruiting aspect. So can I do anything special with these berries if I give them the fruit aspect? Aha, that'll give us the apple tree, which remember one of these things, I think it's the tomatoes or the strawberries. Strawberries get plus 10 if next to an apple tree. So actually let's do it here. Okay. And I think this will reset the aspect that's already on it. You'll look up here. Oh no, because it's already got an aspect, it's done. So instead we'll do this. Reset it. Then do it again. Okay. Oh, looks like one of your villages is getting quite greedy. The greedier villages, the more likely they are to attack other villages. Remember, the greed grows if the village grows too fast. So it's probably this village right here. Yeah, this village is getting kind of greedy. So I need to wait on helping these guys out for a little while. So we're just going to leave this town alone for a while. And we're going to go ahead. We have another nomad roaming the land. So how about we leave that town alone? Let's send everybody over this way. And we're going to try and hope that that town doesn't get any greedier. Because um, if they get too greedy, then they're going to start attacking other towns. It's going to be a whole mess. How are y'all doing on greed? Y'all are fine. You're totally fine. We'll come back to them in maybe a couple of uh, minutes here. And we will um, deal with their issues. So here we are in the desert. Let's go ahead and make some cool stuff happen here. Let's put a... So deserts tend to like um, money and a little bit of tech, uh, maybe a little bit of food. So let us get some crystals and things going on. So let's put down some exotic minerals and let's see what happens over here, huh? If that one town gets too greedy, then we are gonna have to worry about, um, we might have to destroy them. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't come to that. While you're walking by here, buddy, why don't you create another forest? Why not? There's also a mountain biome here, which I've never created a full on mountain town. I think if you build enough mountains, you can do that though. Okay, what did we get here? We got some stone. It gets better if it's next to a plant. That's the symbiosis. Uh, and then also activate symbiosis with five tech in use. Yeah, yeah. So that'll work. So let's get some plants next to it, right? So let's grab you and put you here. And then I just want to check, did I actually put the aspect on these guys? I did. Let's see what these otters do. Yeah, see? Nice little boost there. Ooh, and look at that. All flew over there. Now these otters, plus three food next to a plant. That's good. Marvelry, Marvel Valley clan has settled. Cool. So we put the plant next to this, so this should be gaining a little boost in a little bit. Um, plus five natural F next to a mineral, so that's good. Let us give this thing, what, what kind of lesser fruit would give us agave? Let's do that. And actually, let's go ahead, can we just create a fruit plant right here and see what we get? Because it does seem like plants are uh, useful here. That's another withered shrub. Okay. The trade post challenge has started. Well, let's go ahead and let's wait before we make any choices. What do you want? Uh, wealth in use 30. So we need wealth, wealth, wealth. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to switch up all of this. So you're going to go from tech to precious minerals. And we're going to see what these precious minerals are uh, in need of. So um, if next to stone, eight wealth, if next to another quartz. So we're going to just put another quartz right next to this and just go for wealth, 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 because that's what these guys want in order to finish their thing. And obviously we want them to finish their project so that we can get another ambassador. Um, so let's just wait a little bit of time. And while we do that, let me uh, check our other towns. So y'all are at prosperity 86. So we've almost got them to the 100 that we want. What about these guys? Prosperity 58. Their greed has kind of slowed down a little bit. I'm going to continue to let them just chill. Um, so that their greed can kind of slow down. I don't know if it goes back down ever, but uh, we want to keep it from going up ever again. Okay. Stone stone giant guy, let's do this. Money times. Okay. So this is quartz. Um, activate symbiosis with five wealth in use. So once this hits five, boom. Look at that. Tons of money. So they're at five of 36. We'll give them one more. Um, because, I mean, because obviously, you know, we're worried about greed. It is growing a little bit quickly. Um, so maybe we'll wait for a second. So while we do that, 
let's go ahead and swampy why don't you make us an even bigger swamp over here you've got plenty of water and that'll give us a nice space there and then for you let's actually see what happens if i build another mountain right next to this mountain i'm curious okay Ah. That's so cool. All right, let's watch him build a mountain. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. So it creates like this little, like there's like a little desert patch in there. Oh, no, no. Now it's all mountain biome, you see? So the, and the mountain has very different um stuff in it so i'm actually going to do one more mountain right next to this so we're going to have this little mountain area so if we do get another nomad i might try and make like a mountain village um i'm not sure if it's the same as desert or if it's a completely different biome i do think it has completely different uh items in it though uh, as far as what you can generate so let's do that that looks like a desert tile right there just that one tile that's bizarre <laughs> uh okay so let's get you back over here Let's build this last one of these. Yeah, I see their greed has gone down. And once they hit 30, we're good. How much time do we have left on this? Seven minutes. We're totally going to be fine. Now, as far as you guys are concerned, your greed has gone pretty far down. And this red green has gone down as well. So we can actually move forward. These guys like tech, right? So I should probably build some advanced minerals and maybe some herbs. So let's go put some herbs over here. We'll see what we can get. And what does this get a benefit from? Plus six tech and six wealth if next to a mineral. So if I build another one of these to this, then that'll be good. So you're doing your thing. There we go. So they're going to have plenty of wealth. Let's bring this over here. All right. The inventor's challenge. Where is that? Here? The inventor's tower. So it builds right on the same project spot. Now what do they need? 140 technology. And I can't get rid of any food that they've already got. So we've really got to ramp this up. Um, now we're getting this bonus, the cooking class. And I think we do get this bonus while it's um, still here. Uh, so it would be plus one food, plus one tech for each flora. It's an on patch specialization. All patches on the planet with plants that transmute from the growth aspect. Wow. So if I use the growth aspect, I'm going to gain bonuses everywhere that's huge i didn't even know that was a thing that's really cool uh we're gonna let these guys continue to grow i don't want to give them too much more out of fear that they will grow in greed what about y'all y'all's greed we're gonna let it continue to go down and then we'll come boost y'all in a little bit your prosperity is 66 your prosperity is 98 so they're gonna totally hit 100 what's this prosperity 28 i think we can do it i think we can do it man this is taking way longer than i expected i'm glad we're only doing a 30 minute game um i think it's because i constantly keep pausing and whatnot but we're getting a lot done y'all we're getting a lot done um i may end up splitting this across a couple of episodes now that i'm looking at how long this is taking so um if that's the case i'm gonna probably cut it here uh and so what we'll say is you know uh, you know, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, obviously, please give the video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to keep playing this right now just so I can finish this recording. Um, and so I'll get this episode out pretty shortly thereafter this one. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll pick back up. We just got our first desert ambassador. And so he can give us what? The monsoon ability, the hunt aspect, the noble aspect, or the predator aspect. I think we're going to go for the noble aspect for the rock giant. But right now, we're going to say... Goodbye, and I will see y'all next time.